Purdue University is an international leader in innovation and technology transfer. Among these innovations is a handheld sensor that can give farmers information about plant growth stages, nutrition levels, and stresses. The sensor can also provide national, state, and local officials information about how crops are doing so they can have accurate information about expected yield performance. The sensor was developed by Jan Jing, an assistant professor of agricultural and biological engineering at Purdue University. So we quickly scan the plant leaf, and within a few seconds, we are able to precisely predict how much water, nitrogen, nutrition, stress level, disease, those plant physiological features. And at the same time, based on the device prediction, we can provide suggestions to farmers, such as when should I water the plants? When should I fertilize the plants? Do I need to be concerned about the insects? or the disease showing up, the, the symptom showing up in my field. And our device will be able to warn our farmers about those disease signals, hopefully many days earlier than they can visibly be detected. The handheld sensor uses hyperspectral imaging, which is much more precise than a traditional camera because it obtains the electromagnetic spectrum for each pixel in the image. As valuable as the sensor will be to farmers, Jing believes the real value is in the data collected by the farmers using the sensors and a smartphone. So one special thing is our handheld device worked, works together with a smartphone app. So every time if you measure the plant features, this phenotyping data is sent to our smartphone uh, application and this software relays this information together with the GIS, uh, with the GPS location data and the time data to our geography information system which is a map service uh, we have at Purdue campus. And we can generate a heat map of how much uh, the, the nitrogen map, the water map, the stress map of our whole Indiana State agriculture production so we can vivid, vividly watch the real-time progress of our agriculture crop plants growing conditions every day. Jing's team in agricultural and biological engineering has used the sensors on a robotic arm in a Purdue greenhouse to fully scan a leaf. The system uses machine vision technology to locate the targeted leaf and the robotic arm finishes the scanning process within five seconds. The team also is implementing this idea into the farm field environment. The robot system may look like a spider transformer. It travels between crop rows with each leg equipped with a sensor waving and scanning leaves in the field with a very high speed. Jing expects the prototype to be functioning during the 2019 growing season. Jing has licensed the technology through the Purdue Research Foundation Office of Technology Commercialization. Jing is looking for collaborators who could lead in commercializing the device with the aim of making it the industry standard. We have 600 million farmers in the world. So we're thinking about how do we benefit each individual household level farmer with our new IPs and technologies for plant phenotyping. So we think the handheld device is a very good bridge to connect our advanced high-end technology with individual household farmers level so that they can afford this kind of small handheld device but still benefit. To find more information about this and other Purdue technologies, visit prf.org/otc.